Saigo Iyashi no Sato Nenba is a Japanese village that has reconstructed houses made of thatched roofs. It's the perfect place to learn about Japan's history, culture, and enjoy nature. Hi guys! So we're in Yamanashi Prefecture again, and this time we're gonna check out a traditional Japanese village called Saiko Iyashi no Sato Nenba, and it's close to Lake Saiko, which is one of the five lakes surrounding Mount Fuji. And as you can see behind me, there's Mount Fuji with a little bit of cloud on top of it. So if you are visiting, you can take the Psycho sightseeing bus and um, it's the green line. So I think this is where it takes you to. So there is a green line and a red line. So the green line will take you to these um, places. So it starts in Kawaguchiko Station and um, there are all these different stops that you can stop at. So that's very convenient if you are just visiting here. So this is the parking lot and this is what is outside of the village and you can see the view of Mount Fuji and there are several food stalls and vendors outside so if you want to grab a snack before or after you can do that. Follow me and let's check out how a traditional Japanese village looks like with that roofs and all the charm that it has to offer. The admission fee is 350 yen for adults and 150 yen per child. They even usually do rental kimonos but at the moment they're not doing that. So there are a total of 21 houses and each house has a different exhibit and we're gonna go check out some of them. So we're inside and we're gonna check out. Hello, konnichiwa. We're gonna check out. Um, the different houses inside this village. This is house number one and here you can get green tea or the Japanese dessert called dango and you can eat it here while enjoying the view. Then you can hop on to the next house and here they allow you to go inside as long as you remove your shoes. This feels so surreal. Like this village is so pretty. Um, feels like you're in a movie or like a scene in The Last Samurai or something. And the cherry blossoms are still in bloom because it's still pretty cool here. So definitely check this place out. This is house number 12 and this house houses the rental kimonos and this really long katana which looks like it's 2 meters long and they even have other artifacts that we're going to check out upstairs. Oh, wow. 
watch your head here. This is where they keep the kimonos and uh, the armors. Like I showed downstairs, there was about a two meter katana. It's amazing. Lots of history. It looks like a saddle. Amazing history, man. Look at that. Wow. All right, we're going down. It's pretty steep. And this is the katana. Again, it's about two meters long. There's some writing here. I don't understand what it is. I'm sure you've seen these. They look like ninja blades. That's pretty dope, man. Wow. House number 14 is one of the houses that have crafts and here their specialty is glass and metalwork as you can see and you can purchase any of them if you want. House number 18 also has crafts and this one is crepe cloth works and hanging decorations. So you can create mobile ornaments and they're displayed here and visitors can try making their own with Japanese cloths. I mean seriously, this view is one of the best views that I could think of with all these thatched roofed houses, the cherry blossom and this super clear view of Mount Fuji. So that's the end of our Japanese traditional village tour. Um, there are 21 houses in total and each house has their own thing inside. So there are some that were transformed into restaurants, some where they sell like souvenirs and the super cool one that I really like or I think is really cool is the one with um, kimono rental and a samurai outfit rentals that one was really cool unfortunately they're not doing that right now but you should check it out so if you are near Lake Kawaguchiko so this is near Lake Saiko you should definitely visit this place other things you can do near Kawaguchiko, we did a video on that. So if you want to check it out, it's on this link up here. And that's it for today. Um, don't forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. See you in our next video. Bye.